Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and former President Donald Trump has just issued an ominous warning to his enemies. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Former President Donald Trump appeared with Greg Kelly on Newsmax. And Greg Kelly, great host in my opinion. I like the guy. I've liked him from his days on Good Day New York. Um, really strong reporter. And he was interviewing President Trump, and he brought up a point about how she talked. he talked about locking up Hillary Clinton. But then he didn't ultimately do it because he thought it would be detrimental to the country. So he didn't have his Justice Department pursue it. He didn't have people pursue it. Then when he gets out of the White House, it looks like everybody's trying to pursue him criminally, civilly, all kinds of things. And so it's kind of a double-edged sword. So Kelly says, well, you know, what are you going to do if you get back in the White House? You've seen they'll have no mercy on you. So what will you do when you get back in the White House? And he basically said, everybody better be careful now. Everybody better watch themselves now. Because when he comes back to the White House, he's coming back on a rampage. And I got to tell you, after what he's been through, after what he's had to deal with, I don't blame him at all. I want you to listen to what he had to say and then let me know what you think. Of course, please always, as I always say, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia of For Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Mr. Wonder President, Hardy. quick flashback to 2016, the debate in the town hall with Hillary Clinton. Take a look at this. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. I think you locked up the election with that moment, but you didn't follow through on that, yet they are trying no. to put you in jail. No, my question yeah. is, you were asked about that. You said, look, these are good people. I don't want to hurt them. And I kind of thought that was a very honorable thing to say. What happens if you become president again regarding them and the rest? Well, let me tell you, I didn't want to. I thought it would be a terrible thing. And there were opportunities, obviously, and good, strong control. Uh, everything was good, but I did not want to. And I thought it would be a terrible thing for our country. They don't care. These people are radical lunatics. They don't care. And they have to be very careful with what they're doing because it comes back to bite. And uh, you're right about it. I had plenty. I had... Putting her, that would have been a horrible thing to do, I thought, but they don't mind doing it. And you're talking president, not, you know, the, well, look, the wife of Bill Clinton would not have been, would not have been a nice thing to do. But I felt that way. I really did. I felt that way. And she was uh, quite nasty. And, and by the way, it's, to this day, she talks about the election, the election. Nobody goes after her. They go after conservative Republicans. They go after Christians. I mean, it's going to be a, a lot different out there. And I tell the Republicans, and I think I'm having an impact, a big impact. I tell them, you better start fighting because, you know, you're not going to have anything left if you don't. And we have... We have some great people. You know them. They're on your show a lot. We have some great Republicans, but they're realizing they're going to have to get tougher, and they will. It's happening.